What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Gyro with Relish, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we finally got here uh, to Hatano Village. Um, at Well, we had to kind of take care of a couple other things first. Uh, but then we finally got here to Hatano Village. Here we are. Look at it. It's beautiful. This actually is a very nice looking town. Uh, if this town was real, I would not mind living here. Not in the slightest. Also, this is a very interesting rock formation. Anyway, uh, in today's episode, we're going to try to find something about an ancient tech lab somewhere around here. I don't know if it's maybe this way. I mean, I guess it's got to be somewhere. I think it's probably somewhere over up this, like, hill or cliff or something. Um, so let's head on over that way. Uh, so before I forget... Comic question of the video. Um, that's an interesting looking thing. Uh, comic question of the video. Uh, what is your least favorite food? I know last episode we asked, uh, what was your favorite food? Now I'm asking, what is your least favorite food? Uh, my least favorite food would have to be lima beans. I think they are slimy and they are gross and I never want to eat them ever again. Uh... But I will say that when I was a kid, uh, for, for the longest time, uh, I was, or, um, not I was, but my least favorite food was peas. Um, I do, I did not like peas. Uh, I thought that they were gross, uh, then. Nowadays, like, I, I, like, I'm not gonna actively go out of my way to go eat peas. Um, <clears throat> But, like, if peas are mixed in with, like, rice, as in, like, a fried rice, or you're, like, a soup even, like, and I have absolutely no problem with peas. But, like, by themselves, they're not, like, the most appetizing thing, but, uh, like, I can tolerate them. Uh, but lima beans, there is no, no toleration there. Uh, they're gross, they're slimy, I hate them, don't ever sh don't, no, <laughs> just no. Uh, what does this say? Um, hot to know ancient tech lab and hot to know beach. Oh, we could go to the beach, man. We could live it up. Part party at the beach. Uh, br someone needs to bring the beer. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, kids don't drink alcohol. Uh, not until you're 21. Um, so actually, so somewhere in this village, town, uh, there's a thing that I want to go try to look for. Um, but, uh, I don't know exactly where it is. I'll probably have to kind of find it, uh, probably after we're done here at the tech lab. But let's go see... Mind the Lanterns? Okay, I don't know what that means. Um, but well, let's go see... The, you know, I will have to say, up this cliff, there are sure are a lot of signs, and I feel like they're all really important. Enter at your own risk. Okay. That sounds kind of scary. Um. What is it? Hatano Agent Tech Lab. If the flame is blue, the furnace is hot. Do not touch. Is this the furnace? Because if there is, there is no fire. Um. And standing on this doesn't seem to do anything. So. I can, I can, I can run around the building. I can look at this tree. That's pretty cool. Um, there are some yellow flowers. Or no, those aren't flowers. Those are like... That's like wheat. I think. Uh, there's a set of stairs. Can I go up the stairs? What's up here? Hello? Is there anything up here, like, at all? Uh... Well, there's, I guess, all this. Uh, there's a door. I can open the door. Hello? No one is in here. Okay, well, I think there was, like, another door down this way. Uh, I think it was, like, right over... It's, like, right over here. Okay, here we are. I go inside. I did not want to climb the wall. I want to... Hello? Anyone in here? Nope. Okay. Uh, alright. Well, this is interesting. Um, that is not a door. Although, it looks like it could be a door. Also, this is a farming hoe. Uh, I'll just kind of leave that there. Um, 
Okay, so I take it we're supposed to do something about a blue fire? But I don't know where to find blue fire. So I guess we're gonna go back down the mountain. Try to find some blue fire. Actually, wait a second. Oh, I thought I saw something blue over there. Um, Actually, well, no, I think I... No, I, I definitely see something blue over there. Maybe that's where the blue fire is? We'll try going over there. Um, like, like, see where, like, that, it's like a faint blue thing, like, way out over there. I'm gonna try going over that way. Um, maybe there is something that I can do with that. Uh, I don't know. Um, but I guess while we're also trying to search for this blue fire, there's a shrine nearby. Um, I'm gonna also try to look for, uh... Uh, the other thing that I was, uh... <sighs> Excuse me, uh, that was a yawn. Um, I, I did not mean to talk to you again. Um, I'm gonna go see if I can try to find the other thing. So, I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Okay, uh, we're back. So, I think I found out where I can get blue fire. Um, if the giant blue glowy thing with the blue fire isn't obvious enough. But, unfortunate for us, uh, it's kind of raining right now, so I'm not exactly sure how well this is going to work. Nope. Nope, that's not going to work at all. Um, okay, so I guess while it's raining, uh, I'm still going to try to go look for... Uh, that other thing that I said I would find, but I haven't found it yet. Okay, guys, uh, I'm back. So I think this is the thing that I was trying to find. This little, uh, yeah, this thing right here. I'm not gonna get too close to it, because this is gonna actually start a side quest that I'm not exactly, uh, wanting to start as of right now. But I'll just go ahead and, and explain what this thing is. Um... So this is the horned statue, which pretty much what this thing does is you can, after completing a certain side quest that it kind of throws you into, um, you can exchange any heart containers you have uh, for stamina vessels and vice versa. Um, and the way that this works is you sell him, uh, well, you sell the statue pretty much, um, one of your heart containers or stamina vessels for a hundred rupees, and for, uh, and then you can pretty much buy either a heart container back or a stamina vessel or whatever for a hundred and twenty. So you're like, it's a really weird way of saying pay twenty rupees to swap uh, a heart container for a stamina vessel. So. Um, but like I said, like, in order for me to activate that, I would have to start this whole side quest thing. And I'm not exactly trying to do that right now. Um, but I will go ahead and, I guess, get close to this thing. Um, I don't know what that's... Excuse me, I have no idea what that just said. Something about, uh, a Ghana, Iguana. Uh, I don't, I have no idea. Agave? I, I, I don't know. Um... But I think that's pretty much going to be it for this episode. Well, actually, that's... Actually, between all the cutting, that's actually not going to be a very long episode. So... Uh... Okay, well, I guess... I guess since it's not raining anymore, I'm going to go try to do the thing with the blue fire. Uh, I'm hoping that it doesn't rain as soon as I get back over there. Because if it does, then I think this game is going to be a little bit rigged. For this thing. Um, although I don't think. I don't think it should rain. And like if it does. I'd be highly surprised. Also there is a. An egg right there. But I'm going to leave it. Because I feel like as if, if I take that egg. I'm going to be stealing. From somebody else's. Uh, crop. Or I guess harvest. Or whatever word you want to call it. Um, so I'm going to make my way back to the blue fire. And we're going to try this again. Um, I actually don't think it's, I think it's just like, right, oh, you know what, it's, it's right over there, so there's really no point in, uh, cutting that out, so, let's switch to that. Hopefully I can, uh, 
um, light some lanterns with some blue fire. Although, I'm wondering which way am I supposed to... Because I could go over that way. Or I think that there's some lanterns... Oh, you know what? I think I'm supposed to go down that way and uh, do that. So let's light that. And I think I just got to keep lighting these... Like, I gotta, like, go down and around in order to light all these. Now, the one thing that I don't know is if I have to do this in, like, one continuous run. Or if I have to... I think I actually have to go down this way. Oh, I got caught on something. Uh, I, got, I got caught on that tree, so I guess I gotta run over that way before this thing uh, burns out or whatever. Um, there we go. Although, just to make sure that I don't run out of the torch, I'm going to kind of swap back to that real quick, and then do that, and then I'll take this, and I'll con continue on my merry way. So, I'm just going to pretty much kind of make my way around through here. Um, oh boy. Although, the hard part's going to be trying to identify where all of the uh, these lantern things are, because... Uh, because I think, like, in order to get the blue fire to where I, I need it to go, I'm going to have to keep all of these things lit. And I have no idea where the next one is. Or maybe I... Did I run in the wrong direction? Oh, okay, no, here we are. Uh, don't burn out on me. Don't, don't burn out. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, my stuff is starting to burn. Uh, can I... Oh, okay, nope, that's on fire. Uh, I'm gonna switch to this. Okay, thank you. That was a close one. Uh, I think I'm, I might have gotten a, a little, little too close. Or maybe, like, if you hold on to the torch for too long, like, all your wooden stuff will start lighting on fire. Which, uh, is not good, because one of the things I got, uh, as I was doing stuff off screen, uh, is I got a boomerang, which I have not tried yet. I actually want to try using that in a fight. At some point, I am going the completely wrong way. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna switch back to this. I'm gonna run back down. Over here. I know that this is, like... Probably, like, the most annoying thing to have, like, to watch me... Switch back and forth between Torch and Boko Club. But I don't want to lose this Torch, and I don't want... Uh, to lose the blue fire, so I, I do not want to go that way. I think I need to go up this way. Uh, and I think there's another torch around here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Uh, okay, let's do that. And the next torch is over somewhere this way. Uh, can I, like, run with the... Okay, nope, I cannot run. Uh, yeah, okay, that's kind of, a that's a long walk from, uh, one to the other. Unless, is there, like, another one that I can, that I can use, maybe? Um, or do I have to, uh, I guess I just gotta try to run all, just run as far as I can while holding this blue torch. Um... Because, like, I feel like as if they should have at least put one, like, between, like, like, probably, like, right around here. And then you would have the one over there. But I think the torch stays, like, lit long enough for you to actually make it over here. So it's not, like, a huge deal. Um, so let's do that. And the next one should be, oh, actually, we're just right here. Okay, cool. So let's go light the thing. Um, this, this blue, or not blue, but it's, it's about to be blue, with the power of blue fire, and let's do it! Yo, we did it. We lit the thing. Hatano Ancient Tech Lab is now set as a tra- Ooh, okay, so I can now just warp here, uh, whenever I want, and did I- It said I did something. Um, okay, so it's an update for the, the locked mementos. Blue Flame in the Furnace is now powering the Hatano Agent Tech Lab's Guidance Stone. Report to the director so that she can repair your Sheik Slate. Okay. Uh, so does that mean that I can, like, go inside the thing now? 
or oh yo hold on I, I need to do this um or di did i actually do this too early can i go in oh i could probably just go in here uh okay we'll tell you what it's it's actually getting to be a, like a little long according to this recording so i'm gonna leave it right here and the the door totally closed on me rude these doors are rude and like doors are just rude in this game uh, I'm gonna leave it here, um, so, cause we did the thing, cause with the blue fire. I don't know if I was supposed to, like, do this first and then talk to them, people inside the door, or if I was supposed to do it the other way around, um, but I guess we'll find out in the next episode. So I have been Jabber with Relish Needle, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.